Okay, so here it goes a quick overview of ePanel. Now the ePanel pretty much anything you need to know, all you need to do is click on the question mark and it gives you it tells you what it is. Now basically what I want to show you here for now is basically to add your logo. And to add your logo, basically all we need to do is upload image. And then you can either click select files. Okay. Or you can just drag and drop. Now I already created a, a logo for us to use here, which I saved in this folder. And all I'm gonna do is just drag and drop it in there, okay? Is the logo, drag and drop it. Okay, scroll down and use for the logo. Okay, as soon as I click use for the logo, it appears there. Okay, and then I go down here and click save. Now, if you're going to check out the website, go to my blog, right click, and open the link in a new tab here. So you can see the logo is now being updated. Now, the logo is still a bit too big for that. The reason this is too big is because I need to resize the, the, the logo a little bit. So let's go to reset image, upload image. And now I'm going to go to media library and you can see that here is the logo. Now we're going to go medium, medium size. Copy the link. We're going to go full size, actually. We're going to go full size and use the logo. Okay. And now if you save and go and refresh the page. And there it goes. The logo is now the right size. Now. Uh, another thing that you notice right now after we did the last update is that everything start to become into place since we did the, the data transfer okay on the previous on the previous tutorial uh, basically what we got here this is the featured articles okay and this is part of the featured art articles images as right, you can see this is the images we got showing here on the front page and this is a part of the subscribe to RSS feed, which uh, is done in the feed burner from Google. So people, there's another way that people can subscribe to your content without subscribing to your email list. Okay. But then again, you know, is another way to syndicate your content more than anything else. Okay. Now, for the RSS feed and stuff like that, so basically, like I said, pretty much this here is self-explanatory. You just click on those question marks to see what is it. And use accept. So this is already enable. You can click disable. This is disable. You can click enable. Accept is when, you know, it's like this. Okay, so if you go to the blog, and this is what accept is. So when you click read mode and that shows the whole blog okay now this is all samples so you can see yeah how your real blog would look like but you know you want to have to replace all this with your own content to get it to work okay uh, basically you know this is like the same thing got the question marks there what you want to be featured no feature so here exclude categories from navigation bar so basically uh, what this is is categories that you usually create when you create your post. So remember this, I showed you how to create categories on a WordPress course. And basically here you, you ask what you want to show on a navigation bar. So the navigation bar, basically let's see the one is got the categories, which is this one here. Log featured, okay. Featured articles, portfolio, and categorized. Okay, so basically that's what we see in here. So basically you're gonna need to to just you know see what things do, click on it, then disable, enable and see what they do. Now one I'm gonna tell you you don't need to use is the SEO features. If you're using what I show on the SEO course, just keep doing the same way. Okay. It does not affect anything. But you can you know 
if you prefer to use this one and disable the other one, is exactly the same way. It's just the other one actually measures uh, how well your SEO is done, and this one doesn't. Okay, that's the only difference. So basically, keep using the SEO that you've been using that is shown on uh, video course. Okay, integration. So integration again. There is a question marks. Add code to the header or blog. So anything that you put here will appear. Appear. Okay, that's your head. And basically, like the other one say, add code to the body. So the body will be anything beyond below this line, and then the foot will be anything below this line here. So basically, is all here. Uh, but the next thing is the ad management. So here, I haven't uploaded a video yet about this and about uh, monetizing monetization. But basically, you should leave this for later on once you get some traffic coming in. And basically, here that's what you can use. You can put the image uh, 468 by 60 for a banner that you know you can sell advertising or you can even put advertising for MadSense. Okay, so if you already apply for MadSense and you are approved, so once you get the code for the advert, you put it here, and basically, this automatically adds uh, your advert to every post on your blog. So there you go, so this is the panel and pretty much self-explanatory. If you got any questions, you know, you can always contact us if you get stuck with anything. But pretty much you got a question marks here. And there you go, here is how to set up your e-panel. And I'll see you in the next video.